Guess who's wearing a Canadian tuxedo? Me. I would like to hear all the Canadians just sound off in the comments. How much do you relate to this? Good morning, guys. Right now it is. Oop. Oh no. Oh no. Eight oh five. Oh gosh. There you go. Okay. 8.05 in the morning. There's only one type of video that I start recording before 8 in the morning and that is a routine video. Now I have started talking a lot more about my fitness journey, I guess you can say, on Instagram and even on YouTube. And since I've started to talk about it a little bit more, and I've been getting a lot of requests just to show you guys what my current routine is because I have completely I feel like changed my lifestyle especially over the last few months so I'll be going through all of that today so last night I may or may not have indulged a little bit now I strongly believe that a healthy lifestyle requires balance I was up until like three in the morning last night and I ended up getting um, a fine Canadian delicacy poutine today I am doing two workouts <laughs> to balance everything out. I'm gonna be doing an upper body workout and I'm also gonna be doing a spin workout. So I've been getting a lot of questions asking me what I've been doing in order to get a little bit more in shape. There really is no like secret to getting in shape. It really just comes down to hard work. So for me, I have been working out every single day and that has been really like the changing point and where I saw the most differences in my body. I get asked all the time like what types of workouts I do and I'm not even going to really show you guys my workouts because honestly every single time is different but I will say like I weight train in the gym, I lift weights and every time it's different I do full body, upper body, lower body, a mix of everything I do hit and I will do spin classes. Every morning I typically wake up between 6 and 8. Um, I've also been getting asked so many questions as to how I'm an early riser. I feel like for me I'm really lucky in that I could wake up one time at like 6 in the morning and then my body will just become used to it immediately and I don't even need to set an alarm my body will just automatically wake up at the same time every single day so that's what I did I basically set an alarm one day for six in the morning and and ever since then I've been waking up at six in the morning today I did sleep in a little bit I slept in until like 7 38 ish um, but that's because it's the weekend I've sort of started to also start working a little bit earlier I used to film my videos for example starting at like two o'clock and then I would end up just be working until like two in the morning and it was just a little bit too too late for me. I have been waking up earlier not only to work out but also to work. Again, there's just no secret. It's just about doing it and having the willpower to do it. So if you want to be a morning person, just set your alarm and instead of snoozing it, just get out of bed and just start your day. And it's always really hard like that first like five, 10 minutes when you're so tired and you just wanna go back to sleep, but you just gotta push through and just like do it and it's fine. You can do it, I promise. That is a lot of talking. Now it is time to eat some breakfast. Now, as far as breakfast goes, I eat one of three things. I'll either have like avocado toast, a smoothie bowl, or I will have um, oatmeal, especially if I'm planning on doing like big workouts. I always like to have oatmeal just because those carbs really do like fuel me. Let's do that. As far as what I put on my oatmeal, changes every day. Sometimes I put almond butter, sometimes peanut butter. I usually like to put a berry on top, but I have mm, absolutely nothing in my fridge right now. Wait, do I? Yeah, no, I have nothing in my fridge. We're gonna have to do a plain oatmeal today. I'm just gonna do like a spoonful of peanut butter, about that much, and just a little bit, a little bit of agave, just so it's a little bit sweet. A little dollop. Now I would put a banana in my oatmeal, but uh, my bananas are looking like this. And if you know anything about me, you know that I hate overripe bananas. They are the absolute worst. All right, I don't think you want to see me eat this. So I'm going to now go back to my desk, watch a YouTube video as this goes into my body. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so now it is time to do the very, very quick little makeup. I sort of feel like makeup at the gym is a little bit of a controversial topic. My stance on it is do whatever makes you feel most confident, what makes you feel comfortable. For a lot of people, that's putting on a little bit of makeup. I've said this before, but I really feel like the gym can definitely be a little bit intimidating. And if just putting on even a little bit of makeup makes you feel more confident in yourself, then do it. The only thing I will say though, is that if you are going to be wearing makeup to the gym, do make sure that you remove it directly after working out otherwise it can clog your pores and make you break out i personally haven't had any issues with it um i haven't broken out from wearing the minimal makeup that i wear to the gym it's been perfectly fine but if you are prone to more breakouts then you do sort of want to keep that in mind that wearing makeup when you are sweating pretty excessively isn't 
ideal for my coverage product i look for something that is really really lightweight that doesn't really have a lot of coverage i just want something that gives me a little bit of like a tinge just a very lightly like even out my skin tone i also don't want something that's too glowy because i do get pretty sweaty when i work out i don't really need that extra glow so i actually do want something a little bit more on the matte side which is the only time ever that i want anything matte on my face so the nude sticks nudies tinted blur stick has been my go-to for this purpose for a while it really does a great job of first of all lasting on my face it doesn't like go anywhere it feels like nothing it's really just such an easy product to wear so i'm just going to put this not all over my face just where i feel like i get a little bit red so on my cheeks on my chin and i actually use the same product as my concealer so i put a little bit of that on my under eyes and that's it and then i'll just go in with a brush or even my fingers just depending on the day and just very quickly blend and buff that out we are almost done with the makeup routine. It's really that quick and easy. So now I'm just going to brush through my brows with a little bit of brow gel. This is the Milk Kush Fiber Gel in Dutch. This is one of my favorite tinted brow gels. It sort of just adds a little bit of something to my brows, makes them nice and neat, and it adds that like bit of thickness too, which I like. Then I go in with my favorite mascara. Mascara is very tricky, especially with the gym, especially if you're doing any type of like spin class or you're sweating even a little bit, you wanna use mascara that's not gonna smudge. For me, my favorite mascara for that is the Hourglass Caution. I've spoken about this so much on my channel. It is by far my favorite mascara, especially because it does not move. Like I have done plenty of spin classes with this on my lashes and it doesn't go anywhere. I do like to put just a little bit of this just on my upper lashes just to make my eyes pop a little bit. And then all that's left to do is I'm just gonna put a lip balm on. I've been using lately my Vita Gabby lip mask and this one is in the shade Candy Cane. It's part of their new holiday collection. I've been really liking this one because it is tinted a little bit pink so it does add some nice color to my lips, but it's just a lip balm. So when I am lacking a little bit of energy, especially if I am going to be doing two workouts in a row, I do like to take a pre-workout. Now, I feel a little bit like odd suggesting any type of supplements to you guys because supplements especially are very personal and so I just encourage everybody to do their own research but this is what I do and I did want to show this to you guys in case you are interested in a pre-workout I've been loving this one I actually got this off of the recommendation of Whitney Simmons if you are into fitness you have to follow Whitney she posts amazing workouts she's so funny she just is like an all-around great person so this is the Alani new pre-workout I have the flavor mimosa and it tastes <laughs> amazing it's essentially caffeine this does give me quite a bit of energy it makes my workouts just a little bit easier it just keeps my energy up which i really like so i am going to put a little bit of pre-workout into my body today because i feel like i need it especially since i went to bed pretty late last night so i am going to just do probably about like three quarters of a scoop otherwise my body gets very very tingly which is common with a pre-workout so you just want to mix that in with a glass of like cold water and that's it you down it Cheers. All right, that is it for now. I am going to go actually do my workout. I'm not going to take you guys along because it's in a class setting and that would just be very, very awkward. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'm going to be exceptionally more sweaty. So see you soon. I'm very sweaty. Hi. <laughs> I just finished my workouts and I am so sweaty. It's disgusting. <laughs> so, first of all, I just want to show you guys. I want to show you the makeup. I want to prove to you that this mascara does not smudge at all. My makeup also, like, it's still pretty much on my face. So I do wear an Apple Watch. Um, I've spoken about this a few times, so I'm not going to go too in detail. I'm sure everybody knows what an Apple Watch does. But I love this thing because... I find it gets me really motivated when I get to see my stats, especially at the end of the workout. I get very competitive, especially with myself. So I really like to sort of like compare my past workouts. I was such an Apple Watch hater for such a long time. I thought it was like the stupidest thing, but I'm so converted and I just changed my strap to a nice little red one. If you uh, been keeping track with me you know that i am um, sort of am um, obsessed with red so of course i had to change my apple watch to a red strap because why not i did a hit class and i burned about 300 calories total almost and then i also did an indoor cycle class and i burned about 368 calories with that so that's what my stats look like not a bad workout i've done i've done better 
but I've also done worse. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little protein shake. So my favorite protein is this one over here. I got it off of Amazon. It's from the brand New Zest. It's a clean, lean protein in rich chocolate. And what I really like about this brand is that it has very, very few ingredients. A lot of proteins have like just a ton of shit in it and sometimes it's a little much. Um, so I wanted something that was vegan because I don't eat dairy. And I also wanted something that just was pretty clean. And this is a really good option. I really like it. It tastes amazing. It doesn't have like a weird aftertaste. So cheers, once again, I'm gonna just down this. After my protein shake, it's time to take a shower. I'm gonna show you guys what I like to use in the shower after my workouts. Welcome to my bathroom, everybody. Uh, this is a new level of intimacy that we are approaching right now. So first thing that I like to do before I even jump in the shower is just take a makeup wipe. I'm just taking my ones from Neutrogena. I love these. And I'm just going to quickly remove whatever makeup I have on my face. So now let's move into what I actually use in the shower. So this portion of today's video is in partnership with Briogeo, which is so freaking exciting because I love Briogeo. I've been talking about their products for a really long time on my channel. And the products I'm gonna be talking about today are products that I have truly been using for such a long time. So for starting off with my face, what I like to do when I get in the shower is I, of course, wash my face with an actual cleanser I've been using recently. I've sort of been switching between a lot of different types of cleansers. Uh, the Fresh Soy Face is probably one of my go-tos. I've been using this for years and years and years. And then I will go in with the Tatcha the Rice Polish Classic Exfoliator. I love this so much. If you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, this is such an amazing product. It really does such a great job of exfoliating the face, but it's not harsh at all. So you know how sometimes exfoliators could be just a little bit like too abrasive. This is not abrasive in the slightest. It's super gentle, but it gets the job done. And I pretty much use this almost every single day because it is so gentle. For my body wash, I use this guy over here. This is from the brand, I don't, I don't know how to say this, Based. I think perhaps this is a really nice little like organic body wash I know it's super bougie but I bought this just sort of as like a little present to myself and I've been really enjoying it normally I use um, my lush body washes but I found this one and it smelled so good I had to pick it up it's in the scent creme brulee and it truly smells like creme brulee it's really delicious if you like sweet body washes and if you want your body to smell like creme brulee Fantastic, so good. So for my shampoo, I've been using the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. What's really nice about Briogeo products is that they contain no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens, which is what you want in a hair care product because all those ingredients just aren't great for your hair. They strip your hair, especially if you have color treated hair like I do. Um, it just will like dry it out. It'll make your color fade a lot faster. And I have very, very like fine and brittle and just my hair, my hair quality is not great. Since I bleached my hair, um, like I've said so many times, my hair was destroyed. So I've been really trying to treat it as best as I possibly could and the Briogeo products have been doing just that and it is a really nice, very moisturizing shampoo and it makes my hair feel really nice and clean but not too clean that it feels like squeaky. It does actually add a little bit of that moisture which is really nice. This one in particular is really good if you do have very dry and damaged hair because it does have coconut oil in it which is of course very moisturizing and I love the fact that it comes in this little pump. It just makes it so convenient when you're in the shower. You don't have to like like squeeze out a bottle you just like boop 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 and it's good to go like I said my hair is very very dry so I actually like to use a deep conditioning mask every single time I take a shower I feel like my hair can take it because it is so porous it doesn't weigh it down or anything it really just like absorbs all of it so I go in every single time with the Brio Geo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask I actually just showed you guys I think in my empties video that I completely finished this and this is a brand new little pot this one also has really nice ingredients there's avocado sweet almond and argan oil and hair essential vitamin b5 and biotin to repair damaged hair i find when i use this my hair actually feels so 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 silky you're gonna see um when i blow dry my hair how like soft and shiny it actually looks and i honestly feel like this makes like the biggest difference in my hair okay so now i'm actually gonna jump in the shower and like get all this done brb <laughs> okay now that i'm out of the shower it's time to do my out of shower things the last product that i like to put in my hair when it's wet is a heat protectant this is the brio geo rosarco blow dry perfection and heat protecting cream and this will actually protect your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit which is really awesome I put a lot of heat on my hair because my hair is naturally curly I have been wearing my hair both curly and smoothed out and straight 
but um, lately I've been, you know, just enjoying blow drying it just because it's a little bit more manageable for me. So I'm gonna go put clothes on now and then I'm gonna show you guys how I actually style my hair. By the way, I want to let you guys know that Brio Geo was kind enough to actually offer a discount code to you guys. If you wanna purchase any of the products, you get 20% off if you use the code Jamie. This is not an affiliate link. It's really just for you guys to get a little money off if you do decide to purchase anything. Hi, I'm back with clothes on. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys before I forget that I am still loving and using the soft and dry aluminum free deodorant. I have been talking about different types of aluminum free deodorants for a while. This is by far, by far the best aluminum free one that I have found at the drugstore that's actually very, very affordable. And it also is clear, so it doesn't give you those white marks, which is great because I hate those white marks. It's so annoying. Say hello everybody to my new favorite hair tool ever. So this is from Revlon and this is something that I feel like I used to have when I was 12, but like a much better updated version. It's basically a blow dryer and a brush connected all in one. This is the best blow dryer I have ever put on my hair. I have a Dyson blow dryer and I sort of kind of like this one more. I literally have never found a styling tool that styles my hair so quickly, so efficiently, and with like such little effort. It's sort of amazing. I also discovered this from a friend of mine, Amanda. She's on Instagram. She does like fitness lifestyle stuff on Instagram and she was talking about this and I bought it and I love it. I will link her Instagram somewhere on the screen or down below if you want to check her out. She's awesome. I just wanted to show you guys how smooth and nice my hair looks, especially after using those products and of course the blow dryer. It really makes like the biggest difference in the world. Okay, so now it is time to actually style my hair with a strainer, so let's do that. This is really when all the magic happens with the hair. I personally really love the look of when my hair isn't really curly, but it isn't really straight. When it just has sort of a bend, I find it to be very flattering. And ever since I started doing that style, that's when a lot of you guys were asking me what I've been doing. So I think you guys like it too. So this is how I do it. And all you need is a straightener. It's actually very, very easy and straightforward. For the very first layer, like the very bottom of my hair, I just straighten it. I don't really do anything special because this layer is hidden anyways. And it's honestly so short, it doesn't even really show. So I just straighten it so it's nice and smooth and that's it. So in order to get that like slight bend in the hair that's not too curly or too straight, what you wanna do is you're gonna take your straightener and you wanna hold it vertically and you're just going to go down the hair and twist, go down a little bit, twist the other way, go down and then twist again. You could do this as many times as you want um, you can do this if you have short hair, if you have long hair, obviously the shorter your hair, the less twist you're gonna do, the longer your hair, the more twist you're gonna do. And if you want your hair to be more wavy, then you wanna do more twists with a shorter distance in between them. If you want it to be less wavy, then you just do like one or two. Um, and that is the effect that you get. You get this really nice soft like S wave, which actually looks really nice and natural and not too done, which is why I really like it. I just take small, like I would say an inch and a half sections, inch sections. You could just play around, see what looks best with your hair. And that's all you do. And it, honestly, this style takes like no time at all to accomplish. Okay, right now I'm using my little viewfinder as my mirror and it's very difficult. I cannot see what I'm doing at all. So I'm gonna just finish this off camera and I'll come back uh, to show you the finished product and what I do to like finish everything off. Okay, hair is pretty much done. You can see it doesn't really look straight, but it doesn't really look curly it just sort of has some texture to it which is exactly how i like it so to just smooth everything out and really define it i like to take this product from shumora it's a cotton yuzu and it's a defining flexible cream i'm just gonna put a little bit of this through my palms and then just put it through the hair it smells really good too so I very quickly just put on a little bit of makeup in case you're wondering why I look slightly different. So now I'm going to show you guys what is in my gym bag. There's not a ton of stuff here, but I figured I would just show you in case you're curious. And I also wanted to uh, show you guys some of my favorite workout pieces because I've tried a lot of different brands and also a lot of styles from a bunch of different brands and I've really narrowed down some of my favorite pieces. First things first, you guys have seen this before. I've, I've sort of like spoken about what's in my gym bag in past morning routines, although it has changed changed slightly but the bag has stayed the same this still is the same lululemon bag so like i said i spin probably about like two or three times a week so i decided to invest in some spin shoes because i realized that i didn't really love uh using the shoes that the studio provides just because i feel like it's a little bit gross um you sweat a lot in a spin class and just the idea of um 
using shoes that have been sweated in <laughs> over and over and over again even though they clean them and spray them i just feel like it's mm, not for me so i decided to get some spin shoes and um these are the most gorgeous spin shoes i think i've ever seen they're from the brand tm i think that's how you say it and they're so freaking cool and trendy and chic a lot of the time spin shoes can be just a little bit bulky they're very very comfortable i got the white ones with like the marble design i also keep my normal running like training shoes in my gym bag i just recently spoke about these so i'm not going to go on and on about them these are the nike freeze training these are probably my uh new favorite training shoes and they look really pretty too i love the rose gold and gray detail i think it's Super nice and they go with a lot of stuff. Then of course I like to bring a little bit of skincare at the gym because I do often shower at the gym because sometimes I just don't have time to come home and shower. I need to like get everything done there. So I have a little pouch here with all of my shower stuff. I actually put my shampoo and conditioner in these little like squeezy, small squeezy tubes that you could get at the drugstore. I also have my first aid beauty face cleanser and then this Caudalie Vinosource Reach moisturizer and of course i also have makeup wipes in case i need to take any makeup off i also have my makeup bag here with all my makeup now i'm not going to go super in depth with this because i feel like that could be a whole video in and of itself but let me know if you like to know what's in my gym makeup bag if that would be of interest to you but i basically just have a lot of like everyday staples things that i know that i love i don't really have that much stuff in here but it's a really great little curated bag for my water bottle right now i've been really enjoying my swell i just really like swell water bottles because it keeps the water so nice and cold so this is my marble one and i did lose the top i don't know where it is which is a little bit problematic and then the very last thing that i have in my gym bag are my apple airpods these are little bluetooth wireless headphones these are so freaking awesome again i was such a hater with these as well i just didn't think that they were really worth it i do a lot of like movements and these still stay in my ear which is really awesome by the way as far as music goes i have been like curating so many different playlists right now for some reason i've been really enjoying working out to more of like chill vibey music i just find it really it really pumps me up for some reason i don't know i go through phases where i like things that are really intense and like have a very strong beat and like edm ish um but lately i've been really enjoying that more chill vibe um, and i created the most amazing playlist i will link it down below because it is public it's on spotify all right so now it is time to talk about my favorite fitness pieces so first starting off with lululemon i've tried so many different styles from lululemon and um, i've really narrowed down my three favorite pieces i realized that i really like a good compressive pair of leggings so these i actually don't even remember what they're called but i will put it on the screen somewhere so you guys will know are definitely my favorite really nice compression to them they're high-waisted they're very comfortable and they come in amazing color i feel like they're a little bit more durable especially for like a spin class um sometimes the fabrics that are a little bit softer can compel very easily if you're sitting on a bike, um, but these don't because they're like a slippy material. My favorite, favorite, favorite sports bra from Lululemon is this one over here. Again, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I will put it on the screen. This is just a really, really great, comfortable go-to bra. It's like sort of a no frill bra. It doesn't have anything super special with the straps or anything. It's really pretty basic, but the fabric is so soft and comfortable and it's red, of course. This crop top from Lululemon is by far my favorite top to train in. I love this because it's really cute. It looks very trendy. It's very comfortable. I like that it is a little bit looser and not skin tight. I feel like it just is a little bit more flattering. Now, other than Lululemon, I've spoken about this brand quite a few times already on Instagram and a bit on my channel, but I want to talk about them again. So it's from the brand Girlfriend Collective. And what I really love about this brand is that all their pieces are actually made from recycled materials. The quality of the pieces are beautiful. They feel very, very similar to Lululemon. So they have two different legging styles. They have a compression and then the light pair. I have tried both and both are are really great the light pair reminds me so much of the lululemon align they're super high-waisted too and just very very flattering and they also come in amazing amazing colors not only are the leggings great but their sports bras are freaking gorgeous this one over here is called the paloma i believe and it's my favorite style and this is the cropped version of the paloma so yeah that's it for all of my favorite workout pieces so guys that is it for today's video i really hope that you enjoyed it and found it interesting just to sort of see you know a glimpse into my more like healthy morning routine don't forget to let me know all your thoughts down below let me know what your morning routine consists of of course give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already so that's it i'll see you guys next time bye